Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Tasty Planet Forever where you get to start as this tiny little black hole where you get to eat increasingly bigger objects in order to grow yourself until eventually you're so big you eat the entire universe and end reality as we know it. Now we're starting off really small and these little flashing things floating about. You see as we eat them top left they're called quarks. What? Now, I believe from A-level chemistry, which I haven't done in several decades now nearly, uh, don't quarks make up like protons and neutrons or something? Anyway, top left, you can see uh, that's our size, 934 zeptometers. Now, the question is, what is a zeptometer? According to the TT Chudrancia Bulletin, a metric unit of length equal to one sextillionth of a meter, one zero e two one meter. One sextillionth of a meter. Nice. Uh, still, the only thing we can eat currently are quarks. So we'll keep eating the quarks so that we can grow more and more. And I'm hoping if the British education system actually did me proud, then shortly we should be eating protons and neutrons. But for now, it's just yummy, yummy quarks. Anyway, now we have grown. We are 807 atometers and we can now eat... Oh, that's a neutron. And that's a proton. Yes. And you can see they've got the little quarks inside them. So decent. Let's eat loads of these. And we are growing like anything. We're now a femtometer. I'm sort of intrigued to know when I'm going to start recognizing the unit of size that we are. Because I've never heard of any of these units. Anyway, we'll keep eating these protons and neutrons. And I'm just trying to think ahead. Like, what could be next? Is it going to be like atoms, proton, and a neutron stuck together? Is that hydrogen? I, re I honestly cannot remember. There's going to be so much bad knowledge of chemistry in here. Uh, feel free to correct me in the comments, by the way. <laughs> so you can see we've zoomed out a bit. The, the neutrons and protons, you can't see the quarks inside them now. Uh, there's the double. Oh, it's a hydrogen nucleus. See, I, I actually, I have knowledge of this. Very, very faint knowledge. What? I don't know what these big clumps are. That honestly could be anything. Just, just a metric butt ton of, oh, I just ate one. Oh, oxygen, is it? I don't think I would have guessed that, if I'm honest. So hydrogen is just a proton and a neutron stuck together. Oxygen is a butt-ton of them all stuck together. I feel like we're learning. We are learning. Anyway, as we eat more and more of these, we have grown in size. Oh, and look, we've, we've got the atoms. So hydrogen atom is pretty much what we had before. But I think, is that the magnetic field around it? So, ooh, ooh, that sizzles on your tongue. So we'll keep eating them. And oh, I've just realized, look, I'm a picometer, a picometer. I have no idea what I am. I'm going to guess. I definitely haven't heard of this unit before, though. Um, but presumably, that's what atoms are measured in. So there, that's Mickey Mouse. But it's not just Mickey Mouse. Pretty sure that is two hydrogens and an oxygen. Therefore, H2O, that is an atom of water. Anyway, for now, we'll keep eating these singular ones until we're big enough to eat the water atoms. So we've got the oxygen atoms, we've got the hydrogen atoms. I mean, surely they're like turning into water on me. I'm like a wet black hole now. All right, and now we're big enough to eat Mickey Mouse. And yeah, confirmed in the top left, it is a water molecule. So if we weren't wet before, we sure are now. We've gone up another size again. So these molecules are getting smaller and smaller. Well, they're not. I'm just getting bigger and bigger. So come here, Mickey. Nom, nom, nom. Anyway, after a whole bunch of that, we've leveled up again. Uh, oh, and it's like, it's like being back in chemistry class. The molecules, they're actually made out of plastic now. Like the shiny plastic balls with the bonds and stuff. This is chemistry I actually remember. So lots of water molecules. What is that? That's got three oxygens and two red things. You can see like the double and the single bonds. I remember double bonds. It's iron oxide. So two little lumps of iron. So is that Fe2O3? If it is, pat on the back for Matt remembering some chemistry from school. Anyway, we'll keep eating all this. I'm sort of wondering like where actually are we right now? I guess we could be anywhere. Oh my goodness, look at all this stuff. So much water and iron to be eaten. Um, oh, also look, I've just realized we're now a nanometer. And I've heard of a nanometer before. I actually, I imagine most people probably have heard of a nanometer and to be honest it's probably because of apple and their ipod nano although am i just showing my age by remembering the ipods do ipods even exist anymore anyway let's see all this water oh my wait now we're actually in water what are these They're like mega bunches of grapes and oh oh i could eat them individually nom it's a bromovirus chunk for some reason they remind me of like pomegranates but like we're eating the seeds as well nom 
Or maybe like corn on the cob and I'm ripping it off the cob. And then, oh, we've grown again. I feel like we've gone from chemistry. We're now in biology and I didn't, I wasn't very good at biology. And what is that? Is it dancing? Whatever it is. <laughs> Why are you dancing? I don't know. It sort of looks like it's made out of like potato chips though. But yeah, presumably we've got to get a bit bigger before we can eat them. So come here, Bromavirus. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, we're now 0.1 of a nanometer off being a very nice, nice amount of nanometers, which surely means nom, we can eat these guys. Bacteriophage. Interesting. Okay, they mm, it taste pretty good, actually. What are they on? Like, what are these red things? Are they like cells and they're trying to infect the cells? I think I'm curing architecture. So everyone knows architecture is a bacterial infection. I think I'm going around the cells like eating them. Maybe this is like a new type of like hospital treatment. Putting like little black holes inside you and they eat all the bacteria. All I know is I am healing this person, assuming it is a person. Right, we've grown bigger. Oh, these things now move. Uh, but I have just noticed the little bacteriophage at this sort of size. They look, they look very efficient to me. Very, very efficient. Right, what else? Oh, what is that? What is that hairy old thing? Can we... Ow! Ow, it hurt me! All right, the question is, what, what is it? Could that potentially be, like, a white blood cell? Trying to protect the red blood cells? All I know, i got to keep eating these very efficient bacterias so that I can grow. I just realized, if I get big enough to eat these orange things, am I going to be killing the red blood cells? It's a what? A whatus? Caucus. It's a caucus. What is a caucus? Why do they taste so good? They're like cheesy puffs. Mmm, coccus. Anyway, now we can eat these purple things, which are called bacillus. I have never heard of coccus or bacillus before. We are now 1.49 micrometers, and that is a unit I have actually heard of before. I guess the question is, what comes after micrometer? Is it just, do we go on to millimeters after that? Potentially. Anyway, what are these red things? They're not hurting me, so that's good. Are they, are they, maybe they're the red blood cells, and we are in a body. Anyway, oh, what is that? Why is there an avocado in like a blob of jelly? What is this weird place? Anyway, let's keep eating these because they're making us grow pretty fast. Oh, Martian dust. Okay, that's just answered a lot of questions. It's uh, it's Martian dust, which means we're probably on Mars. What are we doing on Mars? And I guess, is this the life on Mars? Well, I guess technically I'm destroying the life on Mars. I don't know. What is that? It looks like a giant boob. Yeah, the avocados have now come to life. They got like a little string hanging out their mouth. Looks like they're pretty harmless. So I'll keep eating dust. Yeah, until I grow big enough to eat one. Because I feel like avocado and jelly, probably an upgrade on dust. Right, we're big enough. What is it? It's a Euglena. I've never heard of any of these things. I mean, are they real or are they like just Martian stuff? I don't know. I need to get big enough so I can eat one of those boobs though. Right, but ow, ow, the boob hurt me. The boob hurt me. Go away, squishy boob. I don't like you. Right, okay, we've just grown. We have just grown, which means we're going to be close to eating. Ow, what is that? What is that? It's like a poo, but it's got like a hairy ball sack for a mouth. Run away. All right, got to get big enough to eat the boobs. That's the only way I'm going to get out of here. It was always the way I wanted to go. All right, here you go. Come here, boob. What are you? A didinium? I have never heard of a didinium. Anyway, we've got to get big enough to get this hairy ball sack turd face off us. So we'll keep eating the avocados. We'll keep eating the boobs. Oh, and we are growing in size. You better be scared, little turd man. Yes, here we go. We're growing. What is that? Ow. What actually is that thing? It's, it's like a baby rat crossed with a michelin man i don't understand <laughs> where are we anyway oh look i can finally eat the turds ow not that one they are a rotifer i have never heard of a rotifer before are they real or are they made up i don't know if they are real i'm learning a lot if they're made up i'm learning a lot of wasted knowledge right we can also eat these green things as well which are called spirulina now, of course never actually heard of those before either they sort of look like the little like floaters you get on your eyes sometimes but yeah, thankfully no sign of a Michelin baby rat anymore. I don't know where that's gone. I am not going to complain though. It was hideous. All right, okay, we've grown a bit and the, the baby rats are back. Why do they have so many legs? I don't understand. Oh man, why are there so many of them as well? I've got to eat these things without being eaten myself. All right, I can eat them now. What is it? A tardigrade. Shock. Never heard of that before either. But let's just eat it because that is what you do when you're a black hole. But anyway, at 400 micrometers, we're finally big enough. We can start eating most of these guys. Nom. Nom. Which means it won't be long till... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wait, where are we? There's like nuts and bolts and stuff. Are we just like on the floor? Yes, a crumb. <laughs> okay, we'll eat, we'll eat the crumbs up. Oh, look, there's like computer chips and 
little transistory parts and all sorts. So where were we before this? Like in a blob of water? Like is that like a water droplet? Anyway, time to eat some crumbs. First dust and now crumbs. I'm not sure about this diet. Anyway, we're getting bigger and bigger. We're eating the biggest crumbs there are. Now we can eat these, which are... Yeah, they are water drops. I reckon that's where we were. Oh, no, look, yes, millimeters were next. I mean, you would hope the engineer knows about some units. To be fair, though, when I was working on roads, like the smallest unit we went to was like, well, like 100 millimeters, really. Anyway, pretty crazy to think as we consume one of these water drops, we're consuming all of those individual parts we were consuming earlier. Anyway, now we're big enough at 5.3 millimeters. We can eat nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm eating these nuts. Anyway, as we consume all of these, we are still growing. I'm not going to lie. I'm concerned with the amount of, like, stuff about. Oh, oh capacitors are tasty. Give me capacitors. Uh, we can also eat computer chips and small bolts. So eat all of these. Oh, my goodness. What is that? It's a robotic dog. There's a robotic dog after me. Run, run. I'm eating circuit boards and space snacks. Yes, we are actually on Mars, I'm pretty sure. So eat all those algae bars up. Try and outrun the dogs. And now I know how my postman feels. Robot dog. Nom. Oh, I actually feel a little bit bad about doing that. Anyway, we got to keep eating the dogs. Wait, oh, is that a human? Come here, human. I love how they're just like, there's a very, very large black hole on the floor. But uh, don't worry, it's slightly smaller than I am. So I'm just going to walk past it like nothing happened. All right, we're big enough to eat these storage containers. So that is going to give us some size now. How big are we? 41 centimeters. Oh, and we can eat humans. A crew member. Right, come here. Nom. <laughs> oh, and some compressed gas. And whatever these are, wolves. Oh, man, this is really satisfying suddenly. <laughs> All right, let's do a test. Are the humans clever enough to avoid me? Or will they eventually walk in? No, they are. They're like, I'm not I'm not going to go close to that black hole. It looks a bit sus. Nom. Right, planters, you're all being eaten. Oh, we are growing fast. Yeah, we are in a Martian base. I can see the outside now. Let's eat all these sofas, all these storage containers, all these humans. Anyway, we're now 1.37 meters long. Uh, time to eat the door and get out of here. Airlock door. Oh, look at them all. <laughs> they are pinned in a corner. They don't like it. Nom. All right, come back it. Come back it. He's outrunning me. There you go. Got the astronaut. Man, astronauts are fast. Anyway, just eat some more compressed gas. And that's made my voice go really high. That must have been helium. All right, anyway, it's worn off. Let's eat these astronauts. Nom, nom, nom. And then we're out. We're on the Martian planet. All right, what have we got out here? Martian rocks. Yum. Uh, down there, that's... More compressed gas and my voice has gone high again. I think we're trying to get big enough to take on these. Are they like Martian rovers? All right, screw this. I've got to get big enough in order to eat them. Nom. All right, and then finally, come here, you Martian robots. Oh, yeah, these rovers are tasty. And now we can eat these solar panels. Oh, we are growing like anything. We're now 6.9 meters wide. Nice. And it looks like we can eat these, like, yeah, Martian corridors. Oh, boy, we are doing some damage. But we can now eat the rooms. It's a Martian building. Nom, nom. And if I eat enough of these buildings, we'll be able to eat the bigger buildings. All right, so now we're even bigger. Oh, there's even... How many buildings did we have on Mars? I'm undoing like generations and generations of work. And ironically, as a flashback to the start, these sort of look like molecules from the start. Hmm, just as tasty as well. All right, so we're eating all sorts of buildings now. We are 35 meters in diameter. We are just causing absolute chaos. I love it. Anyway, now we're on to the big sweet wrapper looking buildings. And they are going down like a treat. So we'll completely clear all of these buildings. Then I assume that's going to be the human settlement like gone. So I don't know what we're going to eat after this. What is that? A Martian hill. Which means that is probably a Martian crater. Why can I eat crater? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. There's so many hills and craters to be eaten. You know, we're now two kilometers wide and each one of these we eat, we're growing rapidly now. We're literally just eating anything that's not flat on this planet. What is that? Oh, are they a mountain range? They might be a mountain range. I thought it was like a, a dead, like giant space dragon or something. Yes, A-level chemistry didn't really go into Martian edibles, if I'm honest. Anyway, at 15 kilometers wide, we can now eat Martian mountains. Yummy. Anyway, now we're on to eating some of the bigger mountain ranges. And oh my goodness, we're eating the polar ice caps. <laughs> Nom. <laughs> oh, now we're in space. Oh, we can eat some asteroids. Okay. Wait, we're 4.8 megameters. What's a megameter? Why have I never heard of a megameter before? It's like the best unit I've ever heard. Is that Mercury? Yes, it's Mercury. 
Oh, but I'm too small to take on Venus and Earth. Uh, we can eat Mars, though. Cheers, Mars. All right, now Venus. Oh, my goodness. We're 22 megameters wide. You know what that means. We got to eat Earth. Nom. Sorry, Earth. And now I'm 100 megameters wide, which means... Can I eat some planets? Oh, boy. I'm about to eat Uranus, and I'm excited. Nom. Oh, it's Neptune. <laughs> Well, that's ruined eating Uranus for me. Still, there it is. It's inside. We're 144 megameters wide, which means we can eat Saturn and Jupiter. Yes. So now at 293. Ow, ow. Don't go to the sun. The sun's hot. Why is the sun so hot? Ow, ow. They're hot as well. What can I eat? I'm hungry. Oh, I can eat little ones. Hmm, yummy. Okay, so we're just eating little baby stars, little red dwarfs. And then, oh, we can eat an orange one now. So they're all just stars of various size. So we'll eat those. And weirdly, this is sort of feels like the very, the very start where we started eating the quarks. But no, we're 1.16 gigameters wide eating stars for breakfast. Presumably, the next unit then is going to be a terameter. Right, oh, I've just eaten a big sun. And now we are a big black hole. Ow, that hurt. All right, and now we can eat these giant red ones. Oh, it's a red giant. See, I called it a giant red one. It's a red giant though, Matt. It's the other way around. Anyway, now we're bigger. And uh, are they galaxies floating around? I wonder what a galaxy tastes like. Right, now we're gaining some mass. So surely, yep, there you go. We ate a nebula with 1.49 ores. Is that Australians? That's a lot of Aussies. Oh, does that mean we're not going to be a terameter? I was looking forward to being a terameter. Anyway, we're just eating nebulas and red giants for now. I do sort of wonder where we're going to go after here. Oh, man, we are growing like anything. Oh, man. All right, we're now 50 Aussies wide. All right, and now we're nearly 200 Aussies wide. Oh, what is that? What is that? What the frig? It's like a manta ray galaxy. Right, if I'm going to grow big and strong, I need to eat my green nebulas. That's like mum always told me. All right, here we go. Here we go. We are growing now. We're 1.31 cows. All right, oh, we're big enough to eat one of these mantas. What is it? A space manta ray. See, we are learning so much. I bet you, you didn't even realize they existed before you saw this game. Oh, they make a horrible sound when you eat them. Listen to this. Ugh. All right, now there's some white stuff floating about. Anyway, we're as wide as 139 cows. So let's eat whatever this is. It's a star cluster. Anyway, we're now 2.16 parsecs. I always thought a parsec was like a speed or something. Or was it time? I don't know. I didn't think it was a, a size. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> What is that? What am I eating here? I'm eating like the tails of the galaxy. What is it? Galactic dust. Hmm, interesting. But yeah, right. Okay, we're growing now. We're growing now. We're eating all the galaxy. We're eating all the galaxy. What are we? 5.29 kiloparsecs. That's not big enough. I need to be bigger. Okay, now, now we're actually eating galaxies. So we're eating the elliptical galaxies. And then that one is a spiral galaxy. Which, oh, what is that? It's a spaghetti monster. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> I'm learning so much about how the galaxy works while playing this. All right, eat those super clusters. We got to grow. All right, here we go. Now we're cooking on gas. Now we're cooking on gas. I think we scared off the pasta, but these super clusters are going down a treat. We're a gigaparsec now. What is that? It's the universe. I just ate the universe. Oh, look, we have gone back to the beginning. We're now eating universe quarks. I knew it was going to be like a loop. I always thought that's how the universe worked. Right, we're eating all these universes and oh no. The fabric of space and time, we've eaten everything, Blago! 